All right, people, strap in, settle down. It's time to get to work. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Welcome to the Browns. My name, of course, is Glenn. We bring you the freshest and tastiest in all that brews each and every episode here on the Browns, uh, which, of course, is part of the bigger brew there, drank that family. Today, we're swinging out to Colorado, and uh, though the weather may not seem like it out here today, uh, we're going to swing out to Fort Collins and check out the Fort Collins Brewing Company delightfully original name, yet they produce fantastic beer. Um, we're going to be taking a look at the Incredible Hop. Now, the Incredible Hop was actually a limited edition release throughout the course of 2012. It's four high-gravity, highly hopped limited edition releases, each kind of focusing on something different. Uh, now, if you guys are looking at the time code on this, uh, it's it's barely 2011 anymore. So what does that mean? Well, that means I was late to class. It's pretty much what that means, but nothing like being late and making a fashionable entrance. So this variation of the Incredible Hop is a triple-double, as it were. It uses a Trappist variation of yeast, typically used for a Belgian-style triple, and they mixed it with a hefty double IPA. That in and of it so itself sounds pretty damn tasty. Uh, beers that might be slightly comparable. Now, I've never had this before, so I'll tell you in a second. But in terms of the idea of a style, you could look to Terrapin Monk's Revenge. Um, and, oh, jeez, I just had a brain fart. Ah, well, screw it. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, this comes in at 9.5% alcohol by volume and did not list IBUs, did not list hops. Uh, which, you know, kind of a pet peeve of mine, but I'll deal with it. Wow. Ooh, pretty. Um, again, breweries, I love you guys. Uh, you produce probably my favorite beverage on earth, and yet seem wholly incapable of labeling your products for the educated public that you say you'd like to have. Just a note, not pointing out any names. Fantastic golden hue. Little extra body to it. You know, if I didn't know any better, uh, I would almost, I could guess this at being like a bohemian style lager. There's just that little extra touch of body. Um, actually looks fantastic. The head is also reminiscent of a bohemian style pilsner. Really tiny. Uh, there was a huge cascading effect when I poured this. Don't know if you saw it or not. Um, tightly packed champagne-like effervescence here at the top. Uh, typical beautiful white frothy head. Uh, it may break down. May not. We'll have to see where it lands. I did pour into a Belgian style chalice that's got an agitator to it. Uh, I figured with a triple double, shouldn't let anything go to waste. Mmm. Now, if I can say this without sounding generic, I smell hops. I smell hops at the end. I smell malt, yeast. It's almost like being able to smell all four ingredients without ever having to taste it. Which is actually very, very interesting. There's a spice note from the yeast that presents with malt sweetness at the beginning. And just a nice, light, herbaceous kind of hop character at the end. Um, really nice bouquet. Exceptionally well-rounded, I would say. Um, and, and quite inviting, nonetheless. Mm. That is damn tasty. That is quite damn tasty. Um, really well done. I I wouldn't have guessed it for a double IPA that had been mixed. Um, the The hop character is not in any way overpowering or caustic. So if you have friends who are anti hop and yet pro Belgian, this will work perfectly for them. Um, that's going to pair well with a wide variety of food as well. You almost get the yeast and hops at the beginning of the flavor profile, 
the malt carries you through the middle of the flavor profile and then there at the end you get kind of a nice finish to it um, not super carbonated but there is some carbonation there helps move things across the tongue really nicely uh, it doesn't seem forced in any way it seems seems kind of a, a natural that's really nice um, super drinkable very very classy classy is the word um, but bang on Fort Collins man you guys killed it with this one now I'm gonna have to hit up some of my friends potentially my viewers and see if I can't come up on the other three of the incredible hop hmm. that being said guys uh, I would get out there and scoop this up Lord knows how short it'll be around um, oh uh, reference to the monks revenge similar similar um, and yet both it, flavor profiles are independent enough that um, I might serve them as a flight if I can remember that third one that I was going to tell you about but anyway here's to it people it's been another edition of the rounds I'm going to stay here and finish working I will see you over our next pint have a good one guys